Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little website here with the Elementor plugin. Elementor is a free plugin. You can download it for any WordPress site. It's got some great features. I had a question somebody put on one of my videos. They'd done this one page site here, but they wanted to add an external page to it. And the problem was when they added the external page that these scrolling links didn't work. And the reason they didn't work is because once you go to another page, all these are CSS IDs and they just point to the sections with that ID name. Uh, very easy to get around. We just need to use the full URLs here on our menu structure here. So let's go and add another page to this. So what I want to do is go to my dashboard. I don't think I need that tab. Let's go to appearance, to menus. And I've got another page here. Let's use this test page. What I'm doing is putting a checkbox in there and adding it to the menu. Once added to the menu, you can move it to wherever you want it. If you want it as a sub item, just drag it slightly to the right and drop it. And it'll be staggered like that and it'll appear as a, a sub menu item rather than a top menu item. So I'm going to put that about there, I guess. Just left clicking and dragging. Let's save the menu. Okay, let's go back to our page. I'm going to do a refresh and our new page should appear there. And what a wonderful descriptive name I've given it. I don't even know what's in this page. I just called it test. So let's click on it and find out. It should take us to the new page. Okay, yeah, this is one of Elementor's ready-built templates right here. So we're on the new page. What happens if we click on these? They're just going to the sections that are on this page. That's no good. We obviously gave this some CSS IDs, this page. But we want it to go back to our original page. Yeah, home just takes us to the top of this page. From memory, we didn't even link that one to anything. What we want to do is get these to go back to our original page links. If I, let's open this up. And if I hit the visit site again, take us back to our regular page or our front page, I should say, the page that we've got marked as our front page. What we want to happen is the links on this page, the About Us, we want that to take us to the About Us correct links that we've got going on here, which would be our one, one page scrolling site, which would be here. So how do we do that? really easy. If we go back to our menu section where we added our test here at the moment we're just using the CSS ID of about services projects etc. What we need to do is we need to change these links so they're the full URL I look at my home page here I'm building these locally um, if you want to learn how to do that have a look down below I've got a course on it it's great for developing WordPress sites just build them on your computer locally rather than having to use a hosting company but 
yours may be your domain name up here www.yourdomain.com I'm going to simply copy that link select it copy it go back to our menus don't need the hashtag for the first one for the home page it's always going to be your domain name and that will always take you to your home page for the next one about simply going to paste it before the about so we've got the domain name forward slash hashtag about CSS ID exactly the same thing for the next one paste it before the hashtag services etc we'll do this last one save the menu okay I'm going to get rid of that page there let's go back to our site do a refresh you shouldn't really see any difference let's go up to the top everything should still look exactly the same but once I hover over one of these at the bottom there you'll see it says my it appears down here I'm using Google Chrome here about us is now localhost elements about etc so let's go to our test page and because we're using the same menu for every page now if I hit the home page it should go back to our home page which it does let's go back to the test page and let's say we'll hit the services this time and it should take us to the services section on the home page there we go taking us straight down to the services section so that's how easy it is to correct those menu issues when adding a separate page to your one page one page scrolling site for the person that's sending that question I hope that's made it clear for you so if I hit the projects, it should take us to the project section on the first page. There we go. Simple as that. All you need to do is put the full URL in your menu items, followed by forward slash, your, and then your CSS ID name, hashtag, whatever the name is. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up like and share the video subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses we've also got some great premium courses down there with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do take a look once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day